So I'm at the Home Depot and I have to make a pit stop. So when I'm done, I wash my hands. I wash my hands because my mother raised me right. I don't need the government to tell me to wash my hands. At the sink, there is an automated soap dispenser, but there's a regular handle on the faucet. Okay. When I leave the restroom, I notice there's plastic over the water fountains. That way you don't touch the handle or, I guess, get the COVIDs because there's some people whose mothers didn't raise them right and they put their mouths on the faucet part of the water fountain. Now, people have been doing this for decades and up to now, those germs, those viruses, they've all been acceptable, but because it's COVID-19, suddenly it's not acceptable. But it's acceptable for me to touch the handle on the sink. And for the record, I don't use public water fountains because people's mothers didn't raise them right. So I'm here at the Home Depot and I needed to stop to use the restroom. So there's a guy in there wearing a t-shirt from a uh, a cleaning company. He's not a Home Depot employee and he's in there wiping down the toilets, the the urinals, not just the handles, wiping the rims. The, he's, he's, he's on his hands and he's wiping the floor. He's got some pink fluid in a bottle and some paper towels. He's wearing a face mask, but he doesn't have any gloves on. So he's quite literally wiping down surfaces to disinfect it but he's not wearing any gloves while he's handling these chemicals and while he's touching all these surfaces what's the point this is all feel-good measures if this stuff is so deadly and so dangerous that you literally have to wipe down the rim of a urinal after somebody uses it we should all stay home and this place shouldn't be open <laughs> this is ridiculous this yellow line on the floor is magic if I'm having a problem with the self-checkout and the store attendant, clerk, associate, whatever you want to call them, has to go in there and fix it for me, as long as I'm standing on one side of this yellow line outside of this, this box and she's inside that box, she's magically protected from the COVIDs. It's, it's crazy. I, I never knew. Now, on the plus side, because there was a long wait to fix the screw up, they did give me a piece of landscaping lumber for free. But I noticed here and at Lowe's a week prior, they didn't even want to check my receipt to see if I was stealing the landscaping lumber. I could have taken as much as I wanted because they're so afraid of the COVIDs if you get close to them. When I got to the store, there was a guy there with a counter wearing a mask and he clicked as I walked in. I had to go through the little maze. There wasn't anybody else there, but I had to go through the little maze. He didn't tell me to wear a mask either. And I went inside the store and went about my business. When I was done and I was leaving, there was a line to get into the store. It's ridiculous. There's a line to get. Why were so many people there shopping? Because the weather was nice and it's, it's getting to be summertime. People want to work on their yards. People want to work on the outsides of their houses. This is ridiculous. And then you herd them all, you corral them all into one area but yet we're supposed to maintain social distancing so we don't get the COVIDs. To make it worse, on the way home, I was going to stop at the smaller hardware store to look for something that they didn't have at Home Depot. But they had a line there too. This is just ridiculous.